Okay, so new job. It's a, a beautiful curved dry stone wall. Uh, it's about five meters long. It's going to be about a meter high. Uh, either end of the curve is going to be sort of like a two, three meter dry stone effect, sort of cladded section. So we, we will use um, a little bit of mortar with that. Uh, like I say, yeah, it's just on the back end of a little beautiful thatched cottage, which is getting done up. So yeah, no, it's beautiful. Like I say, in the middle of a forest, very calming. So yeah, it's nice. It's a nice one, actually. So bit of peace and quiet and silence is good so it's me and cam on this one uh be here for a good few days like so yeah let's go let's go take a look so here it is so there's going to be a dry stone wall in there dry stone wall here and then cladding to about this point metre high I'm going to clad onto that like so this is going to be true dry stone and then we're going to clad onto here as well so it's just a bit of a feature area really cam's just up there getting a load of stone down get all the measurements up to obviously make sure i get this curve perfect because that's only been hand dug out so i've got to try and marry up these points perfectly so it's all right once you get your once you get your base ones in you're right because you can just obviously level up from them so it's just taking into consideration where the wall's going to meet and stuff so once i get these base stones in i will be all right so that's job number one let's crack on got to about midday now 12 o'clock midday so that's where we've got to oh, just uh cam's grabbing another load of stone so yeah no it's just a nice curve it's gonna get a load of heart in the back now probably get some nice big ones on top of these ones keep it all changing like but so yeah Gonna sand's coming tomorrow, so we'll uh, get on with the cladded bits here. Two model. So here, I believe the wall is ending at that angle, hence why that stone's there, because it's gonna actually like sort of mirror this angle. So we're gonna clad onto the end of here, about sort of 
150, 200. So that'd be about here, the end of the wall. End of the wall be about there. So then in this gap, we're gonna build an end here, like literally on that angle, sort of mirroring, you know, so the angle's the same basically, because this cladded wall's gonna come out to here. So it'd be about there. So obviously that and that is obviously the same angle, obviously going like that. And here he's gonna put in some steps, I think, obviously going up the bank, so a little bit to play with. And then I think we're gonna put a step in here, but we don't know yet. Um, he wants to just sort of see what the wall looks like going up, but that's all right. We're just trying to use the nice big stuff first to get some nice big through stones, big foundation stones on there. Let's get right in the heart in, but no, it's all good. Like I say, as long as you can stand on them, let's jump up and down. No movement, no noise, all good. Come up here. You see how quick we've gone through that stone. We've only got that left, so. Nice curve from the eye. So that block there is going to be sort of roughly where the cladding is going to be. It's about sort of 300 off the wall. So yeah, just curving it round. Always looks a bit funny from the start. It's a, just once you get your base, your base curve going, you can go. But yeah, like I say, the end's there. And then if you can imagine, obviously, Imagine the curve carrying on. That's obviously where, how far this wall's gonna come out to on that block. So that curve would then, you know what I mean, carry on like that. So that's looking all right, actually. Oh, got lots of uh, cut stone, which is nice for the cladding, but useless for the dry stone. Yeah, that's looking all right from up here as well. Let's have a look at the stone. Oh, lovely stone. <laughs> Got loads of blocks. That's yeah, lovely, it's Perbeck stone, so it's nice. Nice, mate. You right, Cam Cam? Yeah, Camcam.com. Cam. It's going up all right in a minute. Always take that, say, first day doing the base, always takes a bit longer, but it should be all right. All right, let's crack on.
that's where we got to today. Nice little dry stone section. So, uh, like I said before, all the sand's coming tomorrow, so we'll carry on with this bit, which is going to be cladded. Up to this, lovely clad in go. I just spoke to the customer there. We might be putting some steps in here now. I think he was going to do it himself, but he's not now. Well, I think he just wants stone because obviously it's going to look pretty nice. There's some steps in there. So thankfully, I did step it back there, which is handy. And then obviously got that bit to clad. So yeah, it's coming up all right. So it's all right. It's a nice big chunky stone in there. Good base. Have a look at this curve. Oh, looking nice. Love me curves. But that's it. Day one's done anyway. Clear up some of this so he can get into his house. And... But that's it really. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to crack on with uh, the base and the cladded bits. And then join the walls up. And then, uh, let's say, keep going with the dry stone. And then hopefully we'll get a decision on the uh, on the steps if that's happening. But... Yes, that was today, and let's uh, see what tomorrow brings, over and out.